In this experiment, we're going to be working with a cork gun. And the cork gun has a uh, plastic uh, tube with a cork attached. And as you pull back on this, the uh, part of the tube increases until the cork gets pulled inside. Um, what I want you to think about is how does this work? So as I, as I push these two parts together, the cork pops out. And you, can, you may be able to see inside that you have a very shallow uh, size of tube. But as I pull it back, again, the tube increases until the cork seals it. And then now, if I move it faster, it pushes the cork out and makes a popping sound. All right, so think for a few minutes about how this works and what variables are changing and what, what's constant, and I'll tell you the answer in just a minute. What's happening with the cork gun is that as you pull it back, the volume increases, and thereby the pressure decreases, and the uh, temperature is obviously being held constant. Then, as you push the cork gun forward, it decreases the volume inside while it's being sealed off by the cork until the volume gets small enough that the pressure gets high enough to push the cork out. This is an example of an inverse relationship because as the volume decreases, the pressure increases until the pressure gets high enough to remove the cork. Whose gas law does this relate to? Good job, Boyle's law.